What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video on my channel. It is your boy Elijah. So today a lot of people ask me about Harmony and the validator and the technical details behind it. So today I thought I'll cover a video about the technical details. I'm going to break it down into three different phases. So the phases we have are as followed preparation, setting up a server node and then number three election. So I'm not going to go too deep into details like on my screen about how to set it up end to end. There's a video actually um, from Easy Node, and the person running Easy Node is Patrick. Dope, dope, amazing guy. And he's created a lot of resources. Actually, going to walk through a few of the resources he created here. Um, but he's created a lot of resources for anybody that wants to join the Harmony Validator community. As you can see here, you can go check out the website, easynode.one. Um, and it's very, very neat here. He has a lot of a lot of resources number one he has a validator toolbox which i'm going to show you in a second but he also has a guide to essentially help people um in this space so if you want to go check him out please go check him out and please delegate some harmony tokens to him um dope dope guy honestly has done a lot for the community so it would be awesome if y'all could go uh, check him out and support him as well so he also created a video here you can see um, it's a 22 minute video, but it's going to walk you through setting up your own Harmony validator if that's what you want to do. Um, but this video that I'm creating right now is just going to talk to you about the different components that you need to understand when it comes to trying to run a validator. It's going to talk a little bit about technicals too. Um, but overall, I want to contribute a little bit to what he's kind of put together, but also help walk through um, the guide. So. Without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. So first things first, what is a Harmony validator? So essentially, um, as you can see here, it's two pieces. So one is the validator itself. So a validator is essentially just a wallet, um, just like you have your Harmony wallets. I have my Harmony wallets or someone has a MetaMask wallet, for example. Right. So it's a wallet that lives on the blockchain. So this is specifically for Harmony. And the second component is the node. And this is the Linux server or any cloud server that you have that is verifying and signing the transactions on behalf of your wallet. So the two pieces here, there's the wallet itself and then there's the node. So a validator node. What does it mean to be a validator node? So again, I said there are three components and then we're going to walk through them. So the first thing is preparation. You got to really fundamentally understand what it is you're going to be doing. So essentially what we're doing here is we're going to create a node and then you're going to create a brand around a node because you want to increase the amount of tokens that are delegated to your validator node. The reason being is you want to get elected, which is the third phase of this. And election is where you're actually going to be earning and getting rewarded um, for signing transactions. So this is where your actual work comes in. So in order to be a validator that's contributing like in the highest amounts to the community, um, you have to be elected essentially. So there are other ways to contribute to, but in, in order to be in the, you know at the top, contributing um, level you do need to be elected so another thing is you just being a part of the community itself uh, you're working on getting more delegations uh, and also there's BLS keys and we're gonna talk about that in a second but right now you don't really need to worry too much about it essentially your BLS key is kind of like your ID it is what is going to allow you um, to verify your identity when you're signing transactions as a validator essentially so it's kind of like your ID. You don't want to lose that BLS key, but we'll talk more about that later. From a preparation perspective, anyone that's running a Harmony Validator node just needs to fundamentally understand how to be comfortable in the terminal and command line. For example, here, I pulled up my terminal or command line and you can see it's like, you know, it's just like going through the directories without having a visual um, representation, right? So it's it's like, very very just text read write i'm executing commands so it's there is no pictures it's not that kind of thing so you just have to be comfortable um going around different directories learning some commands and they're pretty simple you get used to them over time um and it's pretty straightforward if you want to follow patrick's video um to set it set up your own 100 percent great way to do so so the second component i want to talk about today here is setting up a server node. So the first thing you want to do when you want to set up a server node here is um, you want to create a server, a cloud server somewhere. So in my example here, I'm actually on DigitalOcean. Um, so I have uh, um, droplets here. So I just created a, a create cloud server 
So you create that. Um, essentially, what you do here is you want to use Ubuntu, Ubuntu, and you also want to find anything around here is a great mark. Um, so eight gigabytes um, and right around four CPUs. And then for block storage, um, eventually because the um, the different shards have different sizes, so what you're gonna end up noticing is the the storage amount that you're going to need over time is going to continue to increase because um, there's a lot being stored on the blockchain. So that's something that's going to be changing um, the block storage itself when it comes to volume. But then the imp second important piece here is the SSH keys. And what essentially you want to do here is um, SSH key gen. So your computer has a, uh, a, a basic gen, uh, key, you know, its own private public key that's going to represent what the computer, um, it's like an ID for your computer when you're trying to sign into the cloud server, essentially. So um, there's a command called SSH key gen. And when you run this command, it's going to give you the, th um, the key pair that you need. And then what you do is you come back here with that SSH key gen. So um, essentially you run this command and when you do, you just put it in here. Um, yeah, new SSH key and then you drop it in there. So that's pretty much it when you wanna set up your um, droplets. And again, if you wanna watch this live, um, make sure you check out Patrick's video. He covers it really, really well. Uh, I'm just here to offer some insights on how for people to get direction when they're trying to get started, um, pointing people in the right direction in terms of information. So um, I don't want to reinvent the wheel and recreate something that someone is, has already done in a really great manner. Uh, I'm just trying to add to it. So I am going to hop into my digital ocean instance here. So I'm going to SSH into the root of the IP. So this is me hopping in here. And as you can see, uh, this is the root user, but again, if you follow the guide, you're going to be creating a non-user account. So I'm gonna switch to the non-user account right now. SU means switch, switch users, um, but you should also look at documentation. So essentially, one thing I wanna emphasize right now is I'm not going to be walking through every single command um, of how to use this. I think the biggest skill um, you can learn in this and running the validator or in general is um, being comfortable in command line, so um, getting some practice in it with your by yourself, looking at the documentation, everything essentially you can find on Google, um, copy paste what you really need to do because you run into very different problems. Like um, you might get stuck at a, um, you know, create trying to have a, you know, root user, for example, that's not a, um, a non root user, but it's a different user essentially. Um, or you want to run an, an install, an update, or you want to um, go to a directory that's somewhere else and you don't have permission from a admin account. There are numerous things that could potentially happen, so you wanna get comfortable in command line interface. Um, getting comfortable with reading documentation, and one reason I'm providing or talking about Easy Node um, is because what they do is the Harmony documentation is huge, it's vast, it's going to co cover a lot of things, but what uh, Patrick did with this guide is he shrunk everything down into bite-sized pieces um, and he also abstracted a lot especially when it comes to the toolbox which I'm actually going to show you right now so he Patrick created a toolbox and you can download it on easy note if you follow this video again that I mentioned um, it's very easy um, if you follow Patrick's guide but essentially what you're gonna see happen is he created this validator um, toolbox here where as you can see, this is my validator address right here. Um, and it shows you like your sign in percentage, your disk space. Um, you can check statistics of like your uh, validator node. You can see like the active um, BLS keys. You can show balance on any wallets of like if your um, validator is, tra is um, on mainnet and it's elected, um, you can actually or, or test net and it's uh, validating transactions on the network you can collect the rewards here. So essentially validator nodes get paid in Harmony tokens. So this is how you essentially get paid um, for what you're doing. So um, 
you can see that here you can also run updates here as you can see so like for example like i choose an option all of these are options by the way so i'm running 10 um, so update harmony binary so i click yes <clears throat> and you see it, it runs the installation that i need done here um, boom 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 as you see here patrick did a lot of work putting together a lot of resources um, and one more thing about it is um it's not just uh you know random it's you know his work has also been put on the documentation for um harmony actually so which is really cool uh, because people creating stuff in this space are also as you see here um tools github harmony one validator toolbox this is um patrick's toolbox again the the one we're using right now as you see easy node one easy node validator toolbox that's what we're working in right now so shout out to patrick again for creating this the validator toolbox for harmony one so um if you want to skip all of these steps in the harmony um documentations you can easily follow the guide here, companion.easynode.one. Super, super easy to follow. Um, the steps are listed here. So far, so good. We got into a non-root user, and uh, we're, we, I'm not showing these essentially because um, Patrick already covers that in his video. But essentially, I wanted to show you an idea of what you'll be doing um, and an easy way to go about doing this because this toolbox right here is going to simplify, especially for a lot of people that are not super technical. Um, this is going to be a great way for you to get your feet wet, um, get familiar with some things. And then if you want to venture into like the more, um, you know, Harmony validator experience without the toolbox, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, this is just a way for you to try to get started if you want to. Um, but a lot of people are asking for like technical guide and technical help. Um, I think the biggest piece is going to be, unfortunately, like I can go around and like do a lot of different things. but. It's not going to be super helpful. The biggest, you know, thing I think you can get out of this essentially is like um, this documentation that I'm sort of just promoting or sharing uh, because it does a really good job um, explaining what needs to be done and also the video that was already created. Uh, and then the final thing I did want to talk about today is election and what that looks like. So creating the validator node is just like okay, you created it, cool. Now what? Uh, because essentially in Harmony validator world, what happens is there's something called election and your validator node needs to be elected in order for it to actually be signing transactions on the network. So if your validator node is not doing that, it's not essentially not going to be, um, you know, signing any transaction or generating any rewards. So here you can see we are not elected. This is our validator node and we're just sort of chilling uh, for, a, for a little bit. But I wanted to show you this. Um, this is the third important piece. Um, of running a validator node and so also since I'm not an elected validator node I asked somebody else that was um, actually an elected validator um, to basically get their point of view and perspective of what it's like to be a validator node in Harmony and something I got in response was um, you know routinely checking sign rates and available space updating systems if required adjusting bid or key counts um, key counts meaning the BLS keys and uh, just also a lot of community work, um, assisting members in the community if they have issues, um, you know, social media and promoting the platform, promoting, um, you know, education, teaching people how to do stuff. So a lot of it, once you've built the infrastructure, a lot of it is just like maintenance um, and the maintenance work really is just like, you know, a lot of it has been abstracted here um, into the toolbox, but some bits of it you know, could be outside of it if it's like having to do with your server. Um, so if it's not quite the Harmony, like, uh, you know, CLI, if it's not quite the Harmony service that's having an issue, it could be your server having an issue. Like, um, actually earlier today, I had some issues um, getting into the server. So like, you know, signing in. So I had to shut down the server and then I had to turn it back on. But usually if you run a reboot on your server, um, things usually turn out being okay the other thing you have to worry yourself uh, about is uh, um, essentially the storage space on your computer or on your server um, so as you see here I have 221 disk space um, I've heard a lot in the community that the space especially on this shard zero 
of Harmony validators is getting too large, meaning um, people need thousands of gigabytes now to actually like keep up with the network and it's only going to continue to increase. And per month, you're paying a lot for that because if you didn't see in DigitalOcean, um, it's additional when you buy over 50 gigabytes of disk space. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind as well. It's not, uh, these are just components, but uh, also another thing I wanted to mention was uh, just cover what Patrick mentioned here. So you can check out the stats um, on here uh, and then also check the stats of your nodes, make sure like things are running okay. So if you go back to the toolbox here, um, you can check statistics, this node's current status. So in here, if I ran option one, oh, actually I'm outside of the toolbox. I'm gonna run the box again, but then I'm gonna do option one. As you can see, it tells you all the info, uh, what's going on here, the epoch and stuff like that going on. So we're gonna go back here, um, take a look at what he mentioned. But as you see here, these are just all of the um, other validator nodes and you can see the data on, on them as well. So as you can see here, a lot of it is just monitoring stuff, keeping track with the network and making sure things are signing properly. And also like making a decision on whether or not you wanna add or remove BLS keys. So essentially each BLS key is locked into um, a certain amount of delegation. So I think 10 million or 100 million, probably 10 million um, tokens. So once you get past 10 million tokens, you need another BLS key, but essentially you can have, I think up to 10 BLS keys per one validator node. So um, essentially you don't have to worry too much about having more than one BLS key if you only have right around under 10 million tokens. You know, you make decisions, you brand, and you continue to repeat all of this. So it's a repetitive process. It's more community work. Um, you know, it's 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 not just setting up this infrastructure because all you're essentially doing is setting up, um, you know, server and keeping it running. But on the back end, that's where the real work actually happens. You're, you know, figuring out what's going on in the community, learning the, the holes, the pitfalls. You're figuring out what people like, what people don't like, and seeing how you can essentially contribute in a bigger sense. Um, you're still running your validator node, but you're finding other ways to contribute to build the ecosystem to be as big as possible. So that's what we're all doing here at Harmony. I know I didn't dive too deeply into the specific technical details, but I figured there's already another video that does that super, super well. So I can just point you in that direction if it's exactly what you need. But also if you found anything that you enjoyed in this video as well, I hope you did. Make sure you smash that like button because it helps me to continue to make content like this. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you like Harmony at all, if you like uh, Solana, Ethereum, Luna, um, Avalanche, you name it. We talk about it here sometimes, not all the time, but we try to talk about things that are making crazy, crazy impact. And those just happen to be a few. Anyways, it was your boy Elijah again. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Pouring out the deuce in the all black